here's a text from my guy, Jakesy Wiggy. You love Jakesy. Mm-hmm. Wiggy is wrong about the Red Sox. This deal went down exactly as John Henry wanted it to. Now they can say they gave him a competitive offer, and we tried. Oh, they did give him a competitive offer, right? Not really. If there were three to four you, other teams that gave, that offered him over $200 million. Well, we don't know about those teams. We know, you said it, that they offered him $27 million per year. Yeah, we know that. Isn't we, that competitive? Yeah. But but if there's three to four other teams that offered him over two hundred, if we're gonna take a report about what they offered, we gotta take the same report that says that there were three to four other teams that offered over two hundred million. Right. Whether or not that comes from Heim Bloom's mouth, yeah. Well, I both mean, both are reports online. Well, isn't that competitive? So even if they did offer over two hundred million, right? Isn't it still competitive? Twenty seven per year. Yeah. Would it? You know. So I Is mean, being what, last it, place being competitive. Well, well, <laughs> well. I mean, you're still competitive. Right. If there's if there's three teams that offered him six years or seven years at uh, eight years at two hundred million, and you kind of look at the number and you go, okay, Wiggy, if Pebbles got offered eleven years two eighty and you got six years one sixty, you'd say those were competitive offers. Well, I would base it on uh, amount per year. That's how I look at it. You would oh, look at the total guaranteed money. You just said the court that well, there's no guarantee it's in radio. Guaranteed money, Wiggy. It's a check. No, I would definitely it's a go check for two hundred and eighty million. Yes, versus a check for what was the Red Sox one one sixty one sixty. Yes. Now it's, it's guaranteed money. That's right. the difference. That's but why they didn't guys, want to give. And by the way, the market is driving that. Right, but they didn't want to give him eleven years. Okay, then everybody better pre- be prepared. That they are going to do business mm-hmm. as business is done in a small market. I, I mean, what was the Red Sox payroll last season, Curtis? Sixth overall. Well, but no, what was the number? One ninety six or one ninety seven, somewhere in, in the mid to high. 190s. You know what the payroll for the San Diego Padres will be this year? Three hundred. Yeah. Two hundred and fifty million dollars. Yep. Okay. And that's the twenty seventh market in the country. Okay. So. Just be ready for that. This is uh, this is Phil from Maine. Hello, Phil. Hey, guys. Thanks for taking the call. What's up? Wiggy, you're killing me, man. Um, so basically, by the same the, the same uh, figuring, uh, would you say that a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest is competitive? I mean, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that. I don't think that's possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Against it, me, it he probably me. would. It kills me. It kills me that this team... That this this ownership is going to do this stuff and watch these guys walk away. I mean, we are like the Griswolds of Major League Baseball, and you know uh, Henry is Clark, and and then they go, "I'm he's cousin Eddie." This is disgusting how these guys operate. And if you expect that these Red Sox, these fans are going to keep going to, because you guys talked about going to the. Uh, to Fenway Park to watch this team and fall apart and everything else, you got to be kidding me. So basically, what you do, what you figure is that there's still going to be fans, and these fans are going to be willing to watch this garbage, and they're going to pay three times more because when fans stop going, they're just going to jack the tickets for the fans that are going so they can make up the profit. Are they that dumb? <laughs> I don't know. Wiggy thinks they're going to make some sort of a last minute splash. When it what, comes to free agency, why why can't they? They can. Uh, it's they just... can. They right. haven't yet. And they I'm can. looking, and I I might be wrong here. I'm looking at that. There's one thing that the payroll exceeded 230 million at the end of the season. Okay. Uh, for 20, the Red Sox, still 20 million behind. All right. What but the they, pay, what the payroll will be in San Diego? I know. I know this for sure because we talked about it last year. I believe they were. Uh, sixth when it came to overall payroll. Mm-hmm. Prior to that, they had been top five for, I want to say, the past 10 years. Yeah. Wiggy, what do you think this team will do, the Red Sox, this year? What do you think their record will be? Um, I got to see what 82 they... and 82. No, I got to see what they do with the offseason. <laughs> Is the offseason over? We don't know anything. I'm just what, speculating. You, if you I, think they'll have a big offseason, what do you think they're, they're going to have for I wins? won't be able to tell you that until we head to spring training, and then I know exactly what the offseason... Because if they sign Carlos Correa, right, aren't we all turning around mm-hmm. go, they added Correa, they yeah. added us, uh, let me and I'll feel bad, they what, added a closer. What mm-hmm. will be a successful season next year, given that you may hope they'll have a good offseason? 
Uh, obviously, get into the playoffs, get into the postseason. Okay, right now, I think they are the worst team in the division. Okay. Can you, I mean, Wiggy, can you imagine this team as currently <laughs> assembled being a playoff team? No, I can't. Oh, no, I, I can't. Okay. Uh, here's Mark from Portland. Hello, Mark. How are you? What's up? <laughs> so, I, I'm not even suggesting that I agree that the Padres deal is a smart deal. That right. They are complete idiots. Yep. However, so so is Wiggy. <laughs> Wiggy, how to, it just just please entertain me. Mm-hmm. How is it that if four teams including the Padres offer Bogarts over 200, mm-hmm. the Red Sox uh, wait around for do their thing that they do all the time with all these stars and wait and oh we really want them and then they wait until free agency and then they Try and keep him by offering him $158 million. I'm doing the math on 6 times 27 in my head. I think I'm right. Mm-hmm. Uh, how is 158 competitive with four teams over $200 million? Describe your thinking, please. Well, 160 versus 200. What's that, $40 million? That's still a competitive offer. You're off $40 million short. You don't think that's a competitive uh, offer? Are you, you're talking you, – you need help. No, how do I how need help? $40 million? How is forty million short? Well, first of all, you're assuming that the other the four offers, and we already know this is not true, is just at two hundred million flat. It's more likely that the other offers were somewhere up towards two twenty or two fifty million. How do you know and that? You know the Padres was two hundred and eighty million. How do so, you know that? No, it's not. How do you know that? Was, okay, so what if it's what if it's two twenty? What if it's two twenty? You know mock, mock, mock. You're, how you're, do you know it's two hundred? Okay, let's say we don't know. What if it's two twenty at ten years? Yep. That, okay. And uh, and but and, that's not what the Red Sox offered. No, I know. But mm-hmm. the other teams that you're saying there's four, yeah. four other teams. What if they offered a ten years at two hundred million? Take it. But you just said, why would you? Wouldn't you want twenty seven? No, he's saying that that you saying that it was a competitive offer it's competitive. is funny because there were four other teams that offered far more than that. Well, we know that forty million is not far more. It's competitive. If yes. it's not guaranteed money. He's looking at a, a total of two hundred and eighty million mm-hmm. over eleven years versus a hundred and sixty million you know, over six years. See, here's where here's why I pull the fraudulent card as usual. The Red Sox offered Mookie Betts three hundred million. Mm-hmm. He signed with the Dodgers for I believe it was either three fifty or three sixty five. So let's call it fifty to sixty five million off. Did the Red Sox give him a competitive offer? Oh, it got quiet in here real quick. Oh. It got quiet. A- anybody else hear that? The Red Sox never Woo. intended on keeping Mookie Betts oh, so or you, Xander you, now, Bogart. You always talk about, I'm, I brought up the question, and this is where it I should. It was not competitive. That, yes. the, the, it, competitive How is, is that not competitive? Competitive is when you bring something to the table when the other party is ready and willing to accept they or negotiate exclusively. They brought that to the table. This is from Lou Maloney. Our baseball guy, they right. brought 10 years, $300 million to the table. Mm-hmm. He signs with the Dodgers for, I believe it was 365 or 350 mm-hmm. So is that still not a competitive offer? Because let's even say they're $65 million a pot. Is yes, that- $65 okay. million is not competitive. A difference of. Right. The, thereof. The, so is the Red Sox offer? It was it was not competitive to Mookie Betts. It's not competitive to Xander Bogarts. I, I, they never wanted Betts long term. They never wanted you, Bogarts long term. Listen, long-term. you not answer. I asked a simple question: yes or no. I don't need a, your dissertation and and moving four different ways. Is three hundred competitive <laughs> enough to uh, three fifty? Yeah, no. yeah that, in yes. my mind that was competitive, but we're Thank not comparing. We're not comparing. You went to BC. You we're not comparing something. the Padres and the Red Sox. We you were you were saying that that, that it was competitive with the people that yes that were over two hundred. Yeah, we don't know what that number I, I don't was. Know why it's so hard to see what happened? They, the ownership said they said Dombrowski spent like crazy. Mm-hmm. We're gonna say goodbye to him. Your your orders, Heim, are to get rid of bets and then take a look at but Bogarts and those guys and 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 build it from the from the inside and see what kind of a bargain basement deal you can get on and, guys like and Greg. Wiggy is the most smart person as a guy that's actually been in these negotiations, and he is as savvy as they come when it comes to what BS meter people have. Right. Nobody can call out fraudulence. He does it on a consistent basis better than Wiggy. 
The Red Sox are playing you right now. I, I listen. I know what the Red Sox are doing. See, I'm not butt hurt like everybody else is butt hurt because the Red Sox said we're going to do everything in our power to keep uh, Xander Bogarts. You guys are all butt hurt because that well, that's a lie. Well, yeah, that, but that's how it works. I know it works like that. So I'm not um, sitting here shedding tears because they lied to me and said, "Oh, we want this guy." I forever. thought you wanted people to keep it a hundred. No, no, but I. <laughs> but in the world of sports, I know no one keeps it a hundred. You do. No. No, I'm talking about in the world of organizations and players when it comes to negotiation. I know that they weren't giving him 10, 11 years. So I understand that. If that's what he wants, he ain't getting that from Boston. Right. Yeah, no. The same I, way listen, with, with Patriots no, you players. You understand what Curtis is saying. There are fans and there are people like Curtis mm-hmm. who are just saying to Sam Kennedy and Hyam Bloom, right. can you tell the truth? No. No, I can't. Okay, that's all it that's <laughs> what they're worth saying. Worth a shot. <laughs> well, 